Hey guys, just a little bit of off screen training, got to show you what's just happened. Um, Silkoon just reached level 10, and this is what happens after it reaches level 10. Just got to stick this on the beginning of the next episode to explain why I've got a random new Pokemon on my team that wasn't there before. Hmm, these guys try to learn a bit of Zorb. Yeah, let's get rid of, let's get rid of that crappy party. So yeah, there we have it for now. Um, see you guys when I actually get around to in the gym. See you then. Hey guys, let's go back to more Pokemon Ruby. Um, all my Pokemon have leveled up to level 10, except which are level 11. Um, as you was told by the start of the video, I got a Beautifly now and a Shroomish, which was on my PC originally. I also caught that off screen. So let's go into the gym and I'll be like 10 seconds seriously. There we go, and um, just changing over to the right page. Be back a sec, so quickly scroll that down. There we go. Um, so this is the Rust Road GM. There are two ways around it. You can either rush through there and you can get straight to Roxanne. Or you can try and go in a straight line and battle all the yep, trainers in here. Which is the way I'm gonna do it. Um, No more is actually proved to be quite a good Pokemon pick up ability. So far it's picked up a rare candy, a super potion, and a revive. Which may come in handy during the gym either. Um This guy has three Geodudes, one level ten, one level eight, one level six. Which are pretty easy to beat. Because Geodudes have very low special defense. So open with something grass type and it should do a lot of damage. Um, okay, so that's GOD 1 now. Well enough, just to level it all. Now I know it's Leech Seed, um, and that's basically an indirect version of Absorb. It absorbs after absorbing once. Um, I'm not going to use that much. Definitely going to use absorb now. Another bad thing about rock types is they're very slow. So just about everything outspeeds them except Snorlax, in my opinion. And Jodu. Nope, no change there. Oddly enough, this guy is called Josh. Think. Um, Jodu down. Now, you see, you go up here. This guy has a level eleven Geodude dude and nothing else. Now. I think I'm going to do a bit of switching around now. I'm going to switch my Beautifly into... No, I'm battling Beautifly. Beautifly is strong enough and I've got two Pokemon with Absorb against him. Ha, huh. so... Quick note about Gym Leaders, they're one of very few trainers that will use items. Only other people are rich people and cool trainers will use items. Um, Go ahead and use Absorb. Yeah. Go ahead and use the Mud Spot. <laughs> Very useful move considering I'm not electric type. Um, oops, sorry, wrong button. I mean, as you can definitely tell, I've still not sorted out the shift key. The shift key will still speed the game up. 
the 202 experience would probably level Shroomish up twice again. Right, um, I'll be back in one sec, I'm just going to run out to the Pokemon Center to heal up. Here we go, we're back in the gym. That's the leader of Roxanne right in front of me. I think I'll need you to fly up front for now. Yes, yeah, she's Roxanne, bloody bloody blah. Yeah, she learned at the trainer's school. I learned by personal experience of realising things well. Like a purple and yellow, and I tried to use Pikachu against Geodude, and it didn't work. So she has really strong types of rock. I actually have a bad feeling I'm going to lose this. Now, the downside to Beautifly is it's also part flying type, so that was inevitable. Um, might as well just do Shroomish now and hope for the best. Um, as I said, the good thing is, she used a potion on a Pokemon that was barely hurt. The good thing is, I think she only has one. There we go, that's one down. So I'm going to be like 300 experience from that. And there's 158. Let's go up to level 12. Well, I can't change Pokemon, can I? Because. No. Nose Pass. Probably her most annoying Pokemon. Mostly because of that, it's a special defensive grip. Effect. Right, wrong button again. So I'm just going to use Leech Seed on it. Oh, come on! How can a rock evade? Oh, it's also a physical wall if it's um, no. so yeah, but now I've got nose pass seeded. She'll keep will keep losing health at the end of every turn. First time I'll start attacking it. All your hits I'll do nothing. I think would be the very bad game expression I use there. Oh come on, you only have one potion in the normally. How can you now use two? Stupid bit. Anyway, let's keep moving. Um Not this bad feeling, I'm gonna run out of absorb soon. Now I've only used it I've only used it four times. Ah no, that's good. Effects balls, poisoned, leech seed, and absorb. Okay, so ga I'm gaining health off it twice. Now it loses health from leech seed. And now it gets hurt by poison. And she has no more po potions left! I think it just shoots up. To go say she's Shroomish is now stronger than my starter Pokemon that she could change. Nya 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 Wait, wrong game. That's not a fancy. Okay, yeah we went. We get 15 grand for that. Not 15 grand, 1500 for that. And we get the stone badge. So by the way, this attack power allows us to use HM Cut. No, it's HM 39, which is Rock Smash with us. No, it's not Rock Smash, it's Rock 2. What am I thinking? Right, so that's. I think I'm going to end this here, so next time in Pokemon Ruby, we'll go where we need to go to next. See you guys then.